Hello guys and welcome to the Beyond Sana's channel, my name is Shanks and today we are going to continue with the good campaign in the Shadow and Flame mod for Battle for Middle Earth 1. We need to save Maria Dog, Brandy Bog and Peregrine Took from the Uruks. Let's get it started. On the eaves of Fangor, the great plains of Rohan meet the ancient wooded home of the Ents. Destroy all evil. Destroy all evil. We're hungry. We want halfling flesh. They are not to be eaten. Per Saruman told us. Show some courage here. <laughs> Show some courage all you want, bro. We will cleanse you from our land. So we have some Rohirrim. Rohirrim Battalion. One, two. Uh, we have also Rohirrim Archers. Two battalions. Let's give them the number two. And the Rohirrim are gonna be number one. We can group them like that because Rohirrim are gonna be our main damage source against buildings while Rohirrim archers are needed to kill, for example, some pikemen. But for the orcs, it doesn't really matter because we can always trample them down just like that. If also ends, every time you kill Lamry Mills in this mission, you will also get the chance to, you know, free some ends, and those ends are gonna be fighting for you. But you need to be careful. However, I believe the ends in this mod are gonna be way harder to deal with for the opponent in compared to uh, the normal. Oh, we are losing the Rohirrim in no time though. Rohirrim are really weak in this one, guys. I gotta be honest. So we gotta be careful. We have no heal and no sustain yet. And I don't want to lose our Rohirrim just yet either. So we need to peel back. Let's buy this. Oh, we can't even buy this. We are losing all this stuff. And once again, we have to save our Rohirrim. Very important. Because we need to destroy the Lamer Mills with them. But we can also potentially use this end real quick. These units are extremely hard for us to deal with. So we gotta kill them. We need to kill the pikemen, but... Oh! don't oh my goodness we lost all the normal rohirrim guys that is very not good really not good i mean not very good i mean very good also not battle away yeah battle away all you want but the trample damage got nerfed and rohirrim generally are nerfed against uh, any units pretty much we need to free some more uh, ends that's the goal now we have two ends which is really nice and i believe that's the only thing we can really do we need to make sure to save our ends because our rohirrim slash rohirrim arches are not really bringing too much to the table just yet the weakness of the end house ever is the lack of mobility we have on uh, let's lose him too uh, who cares just lose him too hopefully he's not gonna use the fire but he needs to be level two for this one he was using warchan to run away and we were able to save one of them that's great actually because now we can get the outpost and build a well for the sustain and let's do this and we can also we potentially need to build some farms too remember fire arrow upgrade doesn't exist in this mod anymore and that is actually pretty nice for us because we are the ones playing with the ends in this game and trample them down in a situation like that you can just one shot them by trampling them okay we need to be careful there is one berserker coming and he's gonna be enough to kill us trust me on that one so we need to use one of the... Eh, let's use heal here first of all. We missed the second end, end but it's fine. We need to use this end to ca cancel the building. We need to use this end. Don't throw rocks on him. Just kill him. Look, the trample is dealing almost no damage, guys. So we gotta be extremely careful. Also need to build a well. Okay, never mind. This is actually pretty doomed. So we let's let's try to free this um, Damri Meal to get another end for us, you know? And we also need to eventually build the stable once again. Um, looks like we have no stable in this one, guys. So I believe we need to build the garrison in this case. So let's do this anyway in a, on a farm because we will need money. We have now one more end, which is really nice. Let's kill the archers first. And once again, we are in a good spot. We are in a good spot. The damage output isn't the greatest. So we can also free this Lamry Mill. Destroy this Lamry Mill, I mean, to get even more money. Uh, more ends, sorry. And also money, I believe, you will get after killing that. Okay. All we need to do is really survive for like 4 minutes and 40 seconds, which should be doable until the reinforcements is gonna be there. And also, very new for the Rohan faction, you are now able to recruit some pikemen. Pikemen were not existing before, as you guys know. So let's get the money. 
because we will need that in order to re uh, recruit some more units. And once the barracks, in this case, the garrison is going to be level 3, that's going to give us the chance to recruit some of the uh, Edoras King Guard. Okay. Oh, he has, he has fire, actually. Uh, by the way, quick tip from my side. If this is going to be the case, all you need to really do is run for your life, first of all, and get on the water. Same also with this end. Let's go to the water. Because the second you enter the... You see what happens? There we go. Fire is gone now. It's the enemy. Take cover, man. Just again? Why, why are we burning? I don't get it. Oh, we are also losing all the ends we got, though. You also need to go inside the jeans, my friend. Now, what? there is one thing you need to understand. Um, ends are able, just like eagles, for example, or even trolls are able to heal at the Rohan well. However, they are not able to heal at the Gondor well. Please keep that in mind. They are also able to recruit some peasants, but I believe that's not going to be pretty nice because, um, yeah, I mean, we have no draft. We have actually, never mind, I'm, I'm so... Did I ever pick draft? I apparently I did. So just heal them up over time. This end can trample all the archers, which is pretty nice. Do we have any more ends? Yes, we have one end running wild pretty much. Look how many units he has. That's gonna be tough even with the Rohirrim, which are gonna come very soon. Come on, come on. Nice. Just in time. We healed in the last possible second. Heal up. Kill this. We have two ends also healing. They are permanent ends, by the way. So let's kill this. Okay, nice. Now we have another end coming. Oh, he has fire, as you can see. He's using the ability, which this, which is this one, to get fire for a short duration. And if you are burning, once again, you are first of all, you are going to be faster. Because, you know, that's the end rage. They're going to be raging. That's the first thing. And you can use this movement speed bonus you get in order to get... To the water, you know, fast enough. So let's try to fight. We need to lose them actually because I want to get the building to level 3 if I can. This end can just keep fighting here, not a big deal. We can also potentially for look for some more um, Lamry Mills to destroy to even get some more ends on the field, which is always nice. In the worst case scenario, in a, about a minute, but you can see it takes ages, you know, for them to kill one, one of the ends because without fire or enough leadership, really, you can't do much. But we're gonna lose all the pikemen to the Rohirrim and uh, to the Urukai, sorry, not Rohirrim, because Uruks are a great counter to the pikemen. Look how fast they're gonna be going down. Okay, just keep fighting here. Just keep fighting, my friend. You are in a good spot, trust me on that one. Okay, and you can see this end is not burning anymore, and once again we can bring him to the well. Now we have those two ends, they were able to heal up over time, which is great, and we can hope to destroy some more Lamry Mills. Okay, it's level 2, we are waiting for level 3, and before we're gonna get some king guards on the field, I don't wanna call the Rohirrim just yet. Because, you know, the thing is, you will be command points kept if you do that. Take up arms, yeoman. Okay, I don't know if we are able to keep the army we are building right now in the, in the later stages of the game. I don't know if this is gonna be the case or not. Can't really tell. And also this end was able to heal up. Now we have the last march of the ends. Not yet. We need to destroy Isengard later on. But I believe we are getting really close. There we go. We are getting really, really close for the point in which we will be able to see it. Uh, defend Helm's Deep very soon. And if you don't want to miss those videos, guys, coming every couple of uh, days for you. Hopefully every single day I'm trying to upload as much as I possibly can. Please make sure to be subscribed to the channel. Would really mean a lot to me. And also leave a like on this video. Riddermark all you want, my man. Hey, we have some peasants. Now one battalion, actually. And those are uh, Edoras. Uh, to the kings. Leadership bonus to the king guards, troops while near King Theorin. So you are also able to recruit uh, the horses, remember. They are looking like that. You are only able to upgrade them with banner. And they have also the shield ball formation. Just like the soldiers, they get a lot of armor, but lose also lots of movement speed. But I believe they're going to be like an elite unit in the game. Now we have three battalions of them, which is pretty nice. And you can see there are two different armies. There is Mordor and also Isengard we need to kill. Let's grab the rocks. To kill it a bit faster. And we can really get the banner for only, pretty much. And they're also really expensive units. They cost 800 each, which is really a lot. 
Like, really, really a lot. Okay, we also get the money for destroying the slamming mills, which is really nice. Because it's going to help us to upgrade our units. Destroy this one. And we're going to get only one more. Uh, we can't. We are only limited to three of them at the same time. So, okay, the question is already solved by itself. This end, run them down, my friend. Run them down. Okay, one more hit is needed to destroy it. Now give them all this. Get the item. And you guys destroy everything on your way until this point. And you guys do the same. We are not here to lose time, my friend. And we have also ends here. I, I could be using heal on him, but I think it's not needed. Then I purchased. And now, let's call the Rohirrim. Okay, so we gotta group the Rohirrim Arches with number two. And the normal Rohirrim alongside with Eomir with number one. And we have one more end coming at us. We have also uh, normal Arches. We can put them at the outpost. Keep going. Would be nice if you could combine them with the Edoras, uh, but it's not possible. And once again, on these special units, you are not able to buy Forge Blades or Heavy Armor. So I don't know how strong they actually are. So we gotta kill the pikemen with our Rohirrim Archers, very important. Kill them. We have now also highly leveled units. The levels in BFME, they are really important, guys. So if you can keep your units protected in those missions, you can see we have a level 6 unit, for example, a level 5 unit. And also our Rohirrim Archers are leveling up all the time, which is really, really nice. Just use Cloud Break and run them down. Look what's gonna happen now. Run them, run them down. You see, they are dying one by one. Unfortunately, uh, units like Ants or, you know, <clears throat> Nazgul's, they are not able to level up. They are either coming with level 10. You need to free uh, Meriadoc, Rhinebok, and also Perigrintuk. Where are they? There we go. Run, Hobbitses. Run. Riders of the Mark. Let's use heal to keep them full health. Trample them down one more time. And at the bottom left side of the screen, you can always see cinema cinematics. Okay. So if you want to see more content also in the future like that, guys, we are hosting tournaments for Battle for Middle Earth games. Hold on a second. Why are you attacking us? That's not cool, dude. Oh, that's a huge army actually coming at us. Okay, so we need to we need to go to this side. We also were not sending one of the archers yet, but it's okay. If we lose all the Edoras, not yet. Actually, they are surviving. It's especially at the well, because even when you are fighting, you are able to heal up during the same time. So they are actually very strong. And... You know, imagine if you combine this with the shield wall formation, you can actually get like 50, 65 percent armor, which is pretty dope, man. Pretty nice. Okay, the ends are gonna be able to handle the situation not a big deal. All we gotta do is destroy the sitter, and I believe we are gonna be victorious just like that. And once again, we are really close for the point in which we're gonna defend Helm's Deep and hopefully also Minas Tirith. The enemies have fallen. The enemies have fallen. Gandalf, you are Sherlock, my friend. Can't, can't, uh, need to skip this one. Because if you don't know, this is copyrighted. And I can't, I'm not allowed to use copyrighted stuff. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time, hopefully tomorrow. Until then, take care of yourselves. And as always, keeps, you know, keep hitting like a truck. And also stay beyond standards. Peace out.